Hey guys, and welcome back to another week of What's For Dinner. My name is Stephanie. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because it is part of a huge collab that is being hosted by Jen from Cook, Clean & Repeat and Mandy from Mandy in the Making. It will be part of a huge What's For Dinner playlist that these ladies are putting together. I will link their channels below as well as the playlist below. There's going to be a lot of really good videos on there. But for now, let's go ahead and get into this video. Alright, so first up is this boneless pork tenderloin that I got from Trader Joe's. I showed you guys in my grocery haul. Um, I just threw this on a sheet pan with some veggies that I had. It was absolutely delicious and super duper easy. Dinner was done in like 30 minutes and it was so, so good. So like I said, this was super easy and super delicious. I highly, highly recommend it. I just served it with some mashed potatoes and dinner was a win. Okay, so this one definitely wins best dinner of the week, of the month. This was amazing. I absolutely love them. They were spinach and feta burgers and I will link the Pinterest recipe below that I loosely followed. There was so much flavor in these and they were just amazing. I have a really, really good friend. Her name is Carmen. She's like family and um, she used to make, we used to work together and she used to make these amazing feta burgers and bring them in. Oh, they're so good. These are almost as good. They're pretty darn close, but I absolutely love those. I know she's gonna watch this. So hi Carmen, I love you and I miss you. And you inspired me with your feta burgers. But you guys, definitely, these are amazing. Okay, so what I'm about to do might look a little weird that I'm grating an onion into the burger, but um, in my experience, grating the onion gives it quite a bit of moisture and it doesn't overpower um, with the flavor of onion. Instead, I had like oregano and feta and like some like underlying Greek tones in here. I wanted to keep it that way, so I just grated the onion in. So to go along with this for one of the sides, I'm making some oven like potato wedges, I guess you'd call them. They're a little bit thinner so that they would cook, you know, and they wouldn't take an hour. <laughs> um, but I just kind of, you know, dress these a little bit like with some oregano and like, you know, keeping the kind of Greek theme going. And they were like, I'm telling you this, I'm going to say this about everything in this meal. It, they were off the chain. They were so, so good. So the other side, of course you can't have Greek inspired food without a Greek inspired salad. So um, I just threw one together and um, I will show you guys super cool. There's like these individual like packs of 
like snacking olives and usually I won't eat Kalamata olives but you know I was you know in the Greek mood whatever so I was putting them in this salad for everybody else to eat um, there they are right there and it was like a dollar for this at Harris Teeter and it was just enough so I didn't have to buy a whole jar and you know waste the rest of it so I thought that that was super cool and I'm just dressing it with the Kraft Greek dressing and that was about it So there's the little babies cooking in the pan, you guys. This meal is amazing. You know, it's grilling season. It's a different twist on a burger. Like, whatever reasoning you need to make these, I'm giving it to you. Please make this meal. It is amazing. Super, super delicious. We absolutely loved it. Um, it all came together well. Ugh, like, I just can't. It was so good. Definitely favorite dinner. Um, this is Josh's plate. I put a little bit of extra feta on his salad and on his fries. I was gonna get tzatziki sauce for the burger, but a tree fell on my car, so I couldn't go out to the store. But yeah, this was absolutely delicious. So after that delicious trip to Greece, I'm taking you back stateside to Philly for some Philly cheesesteak pasta. So <laughs> I know, I know guys, I just, I don't know. I like, I'm, I think I'm funny. Um, I know everyone's probably like, oh my gosh, Stephanie, shut up. But anyway, so I am making this Philly cheesesteak pasta. It was really easy and really delicious. Um, oh, and it's a one-pot meal, which is um, the best. Everyone knows that. Sorry, I totally forgot to say that with my terrible jokes. Anyway, um, yeah, so definitely one-pot meals are always on the top of my list. Whatever saves me dishes is always awesome. So yeah, this is how I made it. Alright guys, so remember, like I usually say, best part about this dish is going to be what you get off the bottom. So when, before I add in all of my liquid, I added in just enough to start scraping everything off the bottom to get all that flavor out of there, and then I'll add the rest. So when I'm making a one pot pasta, I like to have the pasta covered like all the way with liquid. So I did add a little bit more just to cover it to the top. Um, this did make the sauce a little bit more runny. I don't mind because I like saucy pasta. <laughs> um, so, you know, that wasn't a big deal for me. But if you like, you know, not so much sauce or whatever, you can definitely scale back on the liquid. I just, I don't know, I felt like the pasta wasn't going to cook all the way if there wasn't enough liquid, so um, that's why I did that. <laughs> So this is what it looks like with the cheese all melted and this is it plated up. Everything tasted delicious. I will link this recipe below and I hope you try it and I hope you like it too. Alright, so this night I am trying one of the um, Grillmate seasoning packets, the mojito lime one, and I'll show that to you guys um, so you know what the package looked like. Um, that was one of the ones that I did get in the grocery haul that I filmed um, earlier this week. So it was really delicious, it was very good, very limey, <laughs> I think. Also because I don't use vinegar, I usually use like citrus juice um, because I don't like the bite of vinegar in like anything. Um, but yeah, I just went ahead and tossed this and marinated it for a little bit and just kind of did like a sheet pan dinner and then just did some rice and beans for a side and it was pretty good. Just 
just a little heads up um, to the left, to the bottom left uh, corner of the screen, I do have like smaller chopped onions and that's to go in the black beans. So this is the final plate. This was such a flavorful meal, you guys. It was very, like I said, it was limey, but it was very, very, very good. Like, a lot of flavor. Um, I think it was a really good marinade, and we really enjoyed this dish. All right, guys, so the last night we did some um, chicken bacon ranch quesadillas. I was just kind of inspired because I got some of that Taco Bell um, ranch like seasoned cheese. So um, I just went ahead and put these together. It was kind of like a wing it recipe and just do whatever you can. I am going to go ahead and apologize about the lighting because I think the foil where I put the quesadillas on because I made them in the oven like reflected off of my kitchen light. So I do apologize for that. But um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I make this. So as you guys can see, this is a pretty easy meal to make. There's not very labor intensive, and the whole thing took about maybe 20 minutes to put together. Um, I went ahead and threw these in the oven at like 350 for about uh, six to eight minutes, just until they were done and the cheese was melted, and I feel like it's a lot um, like less messy than making them on the stove top. Alright, so this was the final plate. I went ahead and paired it with some tortilla chips and uh, this ranch slaw that I make. I made this in a what's for dinner video a couple uh, back, I believe. So I'll go ahead and link that um, below. And so that is what we had for dinner tonight. Alright guys, that's going to do it for me this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget about that What's For Dinner playlist. It's going to involve all these great girls doing the collaboration. Shout out to Mandy and Jen for putting this together. You guys are amazing. I hope everybody has a blessed and awesome weekend.